So the first thing I decided to organize was my calendar since I didn't have any access to the assignments and the classes until August 31st. And if you guys are using Canvas, I'm not sure if this works with other websites and calendars, but with Canvas at least, this is a really cool hack that I think some of you might find useful, is that you can go into Canvas and you can find the link for your Canvas calendar that has all of the assignments for all of your classes, and then you can sync that calendar to your Google Calendar. Since I use Google Calendar as my calendar, and I immediately could just add the Canvas calendar into my Google Google Calendar and that way you can have the correct version of your class calendar. So this is the, this is my only real page on my notion, um, so it's called Stars Hollow. If you guys know the show Gilmore Girls, then you know that that's the town that primarily most of the story takes place until Rory goes to Yale. So I just decided that for each season, I'm gonna be changing the theme of my main page. So for this theme, it's fall, as you can see. I have fall leaves in the background, and then also each little section has little house or building next to it because it's like a town, like Stars Hollow. So yeah. I had fun coming up with this concept. So starting with the class notes section, I will have all of my class notes in here classified by each class that I take. This is actually a template that comes with Notion, so you can just find it on the left side of the page if you click on templates, and then it's actually, I think the top one, it's called class notes. So this next section is actually based off of a template that I saw on another YouTube video tutorial when I was researching how to use Notion. So this is where I have all of my current classes listed and all of my classes in general, since I will eventually make a giant list of all of the college classes from now until the rest of time until I finally finish college and I'll have all of the classes listed in here so I can easily you know two years from now go back and look like what classes was I taking two years ago and so then when I click on an individual class I structured it so that I have my class notes for that specific class so what I did was I just copied and pasted the class notes table that I had I then <laughs> clicked the filter option and just filtered the class notes for 
for that class. But yeah, so I have the class notes for that specific class in this area. I have class info. And then also I added in a separate tab called summary pages, which I like to make summary pages before any exam for my classes. So for the my classes page and actually all of my classes page, I decided to also make a launch bar at the top of each page. I keep saying page in class, sorry guys. And that way I can easily access the most important links that I use. That's my Canvas page, Google Calendar, email, and my university portal where I submit payments for classes. I can see my transcripts. So I have it all in one place and I can easily just click on each link and go to the place that I want to go. So under forms and information, I put the syllabi for my classes since I think it's super important to always have them saved and just everywhere and I also put in other university forms I think are important or information such as my reference page which is where I put it after I scanned it so under the university portal section I have my current transcripts which it's important I think to know what your grades are and your current transcripts and credits overall I also have payment receipts because I also think it's important just in case anything ever gets mixed up to see and have your payment receipts and lastly major university events that I want to keep track of all in this uni portal section so for canvas I put the password I put the support contact information and I also put the honor lock and proxy U passwords that I have since I'll be using those for for exam. Okay, so first off, I started with sticky notes. So this you can find, it's free on any MacBook and you can find it under stickies. And I just decided to make a sticky note picture with my youngest brother. And once we get fall pictures for this year, I will also add in all of my family members and myself, of course. So next I went to Canvas and I made background desktop wallpapers. And I would like to say that I designed them all myself, but they have so many amazing cool designs that you can choose from. It's not even funny. So I just went to the fall themes and they had a bunch of adorable different fall themes. So I just use those. And then I just customize the text to make it sound a little bit more like me when I'm reading it. And also, if you can tell, I'm really into fall and at least for me, September 1st is the beginning of fall. So I also changed the highlight color to orange so that when I highlight, instead of it being blue, it's orange. And then I also <laughs> changed the appearance for the buttons and menus to graphite, so gray. So now I'm just making customized folder icons for my folders also from canvas and it's again super easy because they have a bunch of icons that you can use and choose from.
Good morning, cat. <laughs> this is this cat? Number one? Yes, it's number one. Look at that.